Hello and welcome to the video lecture on time scaling property of Fourier cell. Now in this video we are going to see this property along with the proof. So let us first see the statement of this time scaling property. So according to the property of time scaling if the Fourier coefficient of x of t is represented by x of k then x of a t Fourier series coefficient is given by same x of k that means the Fourier series coefficient will remain the same. Now let us see the proof for the same. Now we have by definition of Fourier series x of t is equal to summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k into e raised to j k omega 0 into t. Therefore, the Fourier coefficient of x of a t is given by summation k is equal to minus infinity to infinity. Now, just replace this uh, value of t by a t. So, x of k will be as it is e raised to j k omega 0 into a t. Let us rearrange these terms. So, k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k e raised to j k a omega 0 into t. So, when we compare this equation with the standard equation, then we will come to know that the Fourier coefficient of x of t is nothing but the x of k only, but only there is a change in the angular frequency that is instead of omega, now it is a into omega 0. So, Fourier coefficient for both will remain the same. So, this is what is all about the time <coughs> scaling property of CT Fourier series. So, if you like my video, then please share the video with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.